Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, if the station looks a little bit bigger, it is. I have invited a friend to join me on the station here. He's Ender. He's, uh, where is he? He's in that crew quarter right now. We could probably see him if we went up to the window. Uh, that's his ship over here. Uh, add another solar panel module to this thing too. And one thing I've noticed, uh, they do have a base consumption of like 75, and without catalyst they produce like 300 so you really only get 225 uh, if you turn them off they still work so you save the 75 uh, at the same time too it gives us a different uh, color on the inside and I'll show you that in a minute here I'm actually just going around looking for any routine stuff that has to be done I'm gonna try to get as many of these as I can I might look at getting a power supply today uh, if I happen to stumble across one because I'm curious to see uh, one, how much it produces, and two, how big the capacitor is. And that's the only reason why I'd want to get one is for that. I've thought about getting a better life support system too. Uh, of course, with a bit better life support, we're going to need more power. But right now, we're, we're gaining about 200 a second, which isn't bad because everything's turned on right now, but we don't have any turrets. We don't have any refining, refining going on. But uh, I'll bring you back once I'm upstairs. All right, I'm back in the lifeboat. So I'll go to the power supply mod, uh, screen here. So you can see every module that produces power, such as solar panels and reactors. So we have the outpost here. It has the one solar panel doing 450 because it's got the catalyst. The ships are doing about 500 and 600, depending on what catalyst they have. And then you've got solar panel modules. And they do 75 each without the catalyst but they also have a base consumption over here of 75. Now whether or not you have it turned on or off doesn't matter, actually affect whether or not it's actually producing power, and it does. Uh, the advantage to this is we have two different color schemes that tend to go on in the stations. You have the color of the outpost here, and you have the color of the command center, and in most cases, corridors as well. So if we head down here, and go into the first one, so this is still a command module, this is the first solar panel module with the power, so as you can see it's got that brown and light interior. You go into the other side here, this is powered off, you can still see stuff, but it's got that more of the outpost look, so you can technically have different colors because there's enough light in here to realistically see, and I just repaired that. But I thought I'd just show you that, uh, so I'm going to thinking about heading out to, I was thinking about going out to Everest, I mean, uh, Ender, we're going to head out to Everest yesterday, I decided, uh, we weren't going to make it because Beth was in the way, so I decided I was going to head off to, went to Burner, not Burner, Broken Marble, and it was a good thing I did, because I got myself the, the detonator, the singularity detonator, or whatever it is, the tier one, and I'm, it's actually a good setup that they have, where you, when you have that, it uses... Technically, it uses just a little bit less warp cell and takes a little less time, so it's a good good setup they have. But anyways, I'm going to go take care of a few things. I had to put a jetpack on to charge it. I'm going to keep that as a spare, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll bring you back when we're at Everest. Ender left his door open. She was sending a drift off into space. Nah. I'll be nice. If I did... I'll at least leave them a little bit here to deal with. <laughs> so I happen to found a, find a power supply module here. Uh, whether or not there's any turrets in here, I have no idea. There's actually a few other people in the system right now. Just happen to be around here. This thing looks like it's in bad shape too. So I'm going to take the chance. Oh, oh the derelict blow me just blew up. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take the chance and try to grapple this thing, so, uh, if I do, I should be able to actually turn the power off if there's a turret, to actually get some distance, get a little closer. Oh, some of these debris pieces are massive. Okay, where are you? And I just hit something. I have no idea what I hit. 
Alright, let's rotate. Go in. That rotated a little too quick there. And we just cleared the debris field, I think. Well, maybe not. And we're going to find out if there's a turret in there. Because from what I've heard, and I think I mentioned this before, that they have a shot through the camera. Uh, if it's if there's a turret, I should be able to see it on the power supply panel at least. I don't know if that was ever a thing, and if it was, if it was ever changed, where grappling... Well, there goes the other derelict, so much for that. Which scares me, because this thing might blow soon, too. I got a repair tool full, half full, so we should be okay. Uh, and from what I've heard, the power supplies, they tend to, since they have the reactor and the, de the deuterium on it, they tend to be a little bit more of a, of a violent explosion. And I can't concentrate right now. Let's wait for this thing to go kaboom on me. And it looks like it's got power, so I gotta be careful here. Alright. There we go. Fortunately, I can't actually see the turrets through the window, so they can't see me. So let's go and shut that thing off right away. The only thing is, I can't see the vessel health from here, which would be nice. Alright, it doesn't actually see what it's doing, so we're just going to go ahead and shut that off. And since there is no derelict out there, not anymore, anyways. Pretty sure that's Gonzoed. I think they both blew up. Yes, <laughs> they're all gone. Uh, I'm gonna run outside, do a couple of quick repairs on that thing, and, uh, and I guess we'll go. Uh, maybe we'll head out to Everest or uh, Broken Marble look for some more engine parts or something, a couple more catalysts. But, anyways, I'll see you shortly. Okay, I am uh, just went, uh, did a quick little jump on it somewhere else to a couple more derelicts here. I got three of them here. Hopefully they don't explode on me like the other two did. I uh, always feel confident when you get ready to, for a warp and you see a module, some sort of module, God knows how long, far away, you know, a thousand kilometers or something exploded, this tiny little starburst. And it's like, yeah, do I really want to be going out here and then apparently in a debris field? Well, we're going to find out. I have no idea what I'm going to find, but hopefully it's something, because this is the first time I've been in industrial, and it'd be nice to get some sort of resource situation going. I do need to uh, get a little more life support going. That's a definite. Uh, light would help. And let's get in, in, in and out before something blows up. I'll take the battery. Give me... Don't need the crowbar. I have never found a use for it other than t hitting things with it. And hopefully this thing doesn't explode. Because one of these days I want to be in one of these derelicts and it's going to go boom. And there'll be no more BC in that reincarnation. Good thing I got about unlimited clones in this game. Give me. Thank you. Nothing over here. Let's go check over here. There's usually something on top. Another battery, not too worried about it. I have enough of those. Battery, battery, battery. Battery and a battery. Hmm. Too bad I can't use them for anything else but the drill. So let's go check out the other one. And I got one more to go check out. And judging by the numbers, I'd say these are almost fairly new. So hopefully they don't explode on me. I'm pretty sure their derelict numbers got something to do with the date. I think the the 15 would mean they would spawn on the 15th. Ooh, a catalyst. I'll take that. Anything in the drawers? Nope. And what else we got? Uh, nothing. 
I don't see much else, so I'll have to go check out that. Oh, I always forgot about these ones here. Okay, and where is that last derelict? Uh, it is. I did fix up the cargo bay a little bit, or the power supply, so hopefully we don't have any any boom booms when I go warping around. Because I do want to find catalysts if I can. Turn that light off for now. Uh, is this the one I'm going to? Yes, it is. It really makes you wonder how far this game is going to get. Like if they're already got debris fields in, the game's not even close to being halfway done. Not even close. Oi. Probably get to the point of being able to make like custom modules where you can make corridor sections as long as you want so you only have one piece to worry about or specific angles. Another repair tool. Don't really need that. We'll take that though. Can I take that please? Thank you. And there was a shelf in this one, wasn't there? Whoa, that was in my face. This was over on this side somewhere. Oh yeah, that was that repair tool. I don't really see anything else of interest here. Not gonna find too much around here. Just because we're close to spawn, so it's all like low tier stuff. Okay, well I got a couple of things. So I'll see if I can find some more derelicts. If not, I shall see you back at Broken Marble. Alright, I came across a couple more derelicts. I thought I'd go check out another power supply, see if there was anything around it. Uh, I had a hull breach, and I was able to get back up to 0 .8, 0 0.8 bar before I lost all my life support, or my nitrogen. And I better do some repairs on this before this thing blows up on me. Because I have taken a bit of damage. I've lost about 20% of my ship already. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this up. I'm actually curious to see what the capacitor size on this thing is. Uh, I'll just fix it up a little bit. As you can see, there's a breach here. But that'll go away as soon as I fix this panel for some reason. And I'm almost out of hydrogen. So I will have to worry about that later. So, I think I have one on the... In the cargo bay, it's got a little bit of hydrogen left on it. Let's get in here before things go boom. It's like it's fun to watch stuff explode, but not firsthand. Whoa! That was a little too far. <laughs> Been nice if your directional speed was a little more centered. Oh, this one doesn't look good. Oh, this looks very dangerous. I'll just do a quick fly through, see if there's anything around. Nothing of interest. Let's get out of here. Next, let's go to. Seeing as how there's people in the area, maybe they've been looted already. So, it's hard to say. If I can find another catalyst, that wouldn't be too bad. Because then, the more I can rely on those solar panels, the better. Although an EM field controller would be nice. Oh, there's a catalyst right there. Oh, this was a good call. Don't know if I'll find anything else. I don't know if I'll get out of here alive, to be honest. Wait. I thought there was an interact there. I'll check the drawers anyways. Oh, these ones don't open. Some of them do, some of them don't. I'm going to check the wall too for resources. And nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I got the catalyst at least. 
And then there is one more, which is 400 meters that way. I'll pick up the pace here a little bit. Try to get my lateral speed a little better. I'm going to suicide burn this thing. I actually don't know how fast you can hit a hit a derelict and grab onto or any module for that matter. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. It almost sounded like I was suffocating there. Maybe my ship's got another hull breach. Maybe I'm hungry, maybe there's a hidden food mechanic that nobody knows about. Uh, okay. I don't need a fire extinguisher. I actually wonder if you can use a fire extinguisher as propulsion. It's almost like I've been in this one before. Oh, this is a complete waste. Ooh. Take that if I can get to it. Give me, I want that resource injector. Okay, and I believe that is it in here. so I believe so well I guess that'll be it for this one so I think uh, next stop is broken marble I'm gonna actually see if I can park somewhere a little a little safer so I can touch up the car the power supply a little bit if not I'll see you at home but either way I shall see you shortly Okay, I was just going around the cargo bay, the uh, power supply here, f touching it up. I got one more little spot here I got left. Uh, the derelict right in front of my ship just blew up, so that means the other one's going to blow pretty quick. It actually scared me. I thought it was my ship blowing up. It was like right there. But that means we got to get out of here pretty quick. Uh, okay, and this thing should be just about empty. Which means I'm going to need hydrogen. Good thing the ship's got hydrogen I'm not going to be using for a little while. Oh, did we miss it? Oh, no. Still there. The one I was just at blew up. Should get the rifle and speed it up a little bit. and see. If Whoa, there we go. Just in time. I was close because I was just in there five minutes ago. Alright, well, we came over here, we got what we came for, so I'm gonna, I guess, head off to Broken Marble, see if we can snag a few more warp cells before I blow my ship up, maybe we can get some more parts or something, and I'll see you when we get there. Alright, well, I decided I was gonna come back to the station, the ship was taking an absolute beating, I was at 77% and 76 now, and I found out after I did a relog that both my saddle solar panels are broken so I gotta fix them so I'm gonna go out and I gotta try to get some more hydrogen for this tool and try to fill up uh, fix up the power supply and I'm gonna go ahead and dock it probably in between my crew quarter and the lifeboat uh, eventually uh, depending on when the next wipe's gonna be I don't know but we'll probably get another corridor with a t-section set up for the life uh, crew quarters for mine and for Ender's and then we'll get a T going for the for the docking port. But let me go ahead and uh, take care of this, and I'll bring you uh, up, bring you back when I get the power supply connected. All right, I got it docked. I'm just starting to realize this now. I might have to turn it. I was going to put my crew quarter here, but I don't think there's going to be enough room. So I'm actually going to have to undock it and then rotate it. But we got to go in here, and it looks like we got a possibly another hull breach to fix, but let's go and investigate and see what we have inside. 
Ooh. There we go. Grab that. And... Don't go away on me. Let's see if we can fix up here. Of course, it doesn't have any power because I turned the power off. Oh. Open the door and <laughs> not even realize, not even knowing that there's going to be a... Well, I guess turrets wouldn't be rogued anymore because it's connected to the station. So everything is all me now. I should probably close that door too. But since this door opened, it tells me that this thing was depressurized to begin with because it had a hull breach. And let's go ahead and close this. Thank you. And then we go ahead and where's the lever on this one? Oh, this should open automatically. And we have gravity even though there's no power. So there is another breach there. So yeah, we got one turret stand there. We got, should have one over there. I know there's another one on top. I saw that already. Oh wow, this thing's in bad shape. Oh god. That's a bad thing too, is when the power is turned off, you can't actually get the, the health monitor to see how bad a shape it's in. And... Now is there an actual power supply screen? There is. Two and a half an hour. Outputting 1500k. It's got four catalysts in it. It's actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to fix this up and then I'm going to turn everything around and get this thing up and running and I'll bring you back when we're ready to check it out. Okay, I'm back on the station. I got it all docked up. Uh, pressure's a little off right now, so I got to force the doors open to equalize, which means probably not going to have any life support left because I didn't have any to begin with, but we will find out. You open this door and that actually pushed me back a little bit that was cool so this side should be, take me to a the lifeboat which is where i can access power and all that stuff all right so i do have actual life support on here good uh, my ship is completely empty uh, Ender's ship does have some, but we'll have to do some resourcing. I got I got some stuff on the ship, too, that I picked up while we were out. But, uh, let's see here. I guess I'll have to grab another jetpack. Figure out how to fill these up. That's the thing about this game. There's just so many chores you got to do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll just put that there for now. Put that on, because I'm going into the bad environment. Okay. And we'll close that. And then, now we go to the power supply. I probably should turn the power on while I was in the, out there. Okay. Uh, let's actually go do that since it's just the next room. Sometimes you can hear it, sometimes you can't. All right. So, power supply module, which is... Uh, where is it? There it is. Turn you on. And now we have 700,000 capacitor capacity. And that's really the only reason why I got this to begin with is just so we could actually get the power uh, the extra capacitor all right so now hopefully there's no hull breach and there is all right let's close that before I lose everything and I just did a whole bunch of repairs in here well where is it Oh, it's outside again. Which means I get to go through the cargo bay. There's no other way to get up there. Uh, I wonder if I could fix it through the wall. Oh, hey, we could use one of those. Um, hmm. It's always in the safe spot, too. 
Let's see which way that goes back a quarter. So I guess I'm going to have to go back through the station, head out the cargo bay, and fix this up. But we do have it. Uh, yeah, we're generating pretty good power with this. I didn't find anything in there, but I did find that resource tool. So that's pretty good. But anyways, I'm going to do some work around here. i got to go outside and fix this breach. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.